Hey, it's Doug. Thank you for joining me here today. We're going to be looking at Running Out of Time by Paramore. So as I've been listening to this song over and over this week, the biggest single takeaway that I want to share with you is that I think that this song is incredibly dynamic. All right. And what I mean by that is that as the song progresses, the guitar lines, the bass lines, the drum beats, Haley's vocals, it really constantly changes and develops as the song goes on. A good example of this is the chorus that Haley sings, where she sings, I'm always running out of time. And then there is just a pause, there is space. And that's the first chorus. In the second chorus, she adds, she's always running out of time. And it's just an example of how the song grows in dynamics as it goes on. So check out her vocal. I'm always running out of time. I'm always running out of time. I'm always running out of time. She's always running out of time. I'm always running out of time. We're always running out of time. She's always running out of time. We're always running out of time. So did you hear on all three choruses, she sung it differently. For example, the word time in the first chorus she's like time then the next chorus time she's playing with the melody there and then in that final chorus the beginning line is actually a really different rhythm she goes we're always running out of time that's quite different to i'm always running out of time Right? It's a different melody. That's what I mean by this song is quite dynamic as, as it progresses. So I'm creating this song breakdown for singer-songwriters like yourself who are trying to write you know, the best music that you can. Well, I think another really interesting part of this song that you can take inspiration from is the call and response type vocals that Hayley Williams does. So you're going to hear her sing metaphorically hyperbolically in the clip that I'm about to play. And then she sings like, it was on my list. I swear I meant to get to it. It sounds really great when she's seeing that with all the other vocal layers. And I want you to just hear how that's all interplaying together. So these vocals are also at different volumes, right? Um, some of the vocals are very loud and you can hear it very presently. And then sometimes the vocals are a little bit held back and subdued, but blended together, it just creates such an interesting sound. So I definitely think you could take inspiration from this. So looking at the guitar in this song, I just want to say that Taylor York, the main songwriter and guitarist of Paramore, is an incredibly talented and unique guitar player, right? An example of this is the riff that plays throughout this song. So the riff is... The reason why this is quite unique is because I would say the main notes of this is just... But he adds this low E... Low E string note and you have to play it very quickly. It's almost like you just lightly touch it. Have a listen. But it's there. So that's, that's quite challenging to play actually. And that's just an example. I've never really seen a guitar player play like that before. And there are many examples. Um, this guy on YouTube named Mike Cole in his video talking about uh, Taylor York showed how on one of the songs, I think it was Hard Times, how interesting his guitar part is. So he's definitely a unique guitarist. 
There's also a really nice section where the guitar plays this in the pre-chorus. <laughs> Interestingly, in the live version, you can even hear another guitar layer playing that an octave up. Together it sounds very beautiful, so you can take that idea of playing lead guitar lines with that higher octave and lower octave at the bottom mixed together. It sounds very beautiful. And then in the chorus you've got this riff. <laughs> and I think it's interesting how it switches from this chord, then you bar these notes and slide. That's actually what it does. It's quite interesting. And then at the end of the song, there is an interesting bend, which ends the guitar part. And my favorite instrument in the song is actually the bass playing. There are some really interesting things that are happening in the bass playing. Let me show you the chorus, for example. really cool so basically the thing that I like so much about it is that there's this really cool like that has such a good feel about it it's a great riff the bass drum like the bass uh, the bass drum of the drum kit actually plays in unison with that hit sounds great and then there's another riff which goes So even though that guitar riff is quite simple, dan, da dan, 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 da dan, the bass guitar and the drum kit are playing really interesting things together and making the song as a whole interesting. So it's interesting how the drums and bass are actually playing almost a more exciting role than even the guitar here in the chorus. I'll show you a video now of how the drums actually play really in sync with the bass guitar of that section. It sounds amazing. Check it out. We're always running out of I'm always running out of I'm always running out of time She's always running out of time Yeah, out of time Always running out of time So what's happening is Say, for example, the last riff. The bass drum is going whilst the bass is doing that. And it's often talked about when you write music and just compose in general that the rhythm section should be locked in with each other, right? The bass drum and the bass guitar notes typically um, are very much interplayed with each other, right? Yeah, it's just such a good example of a great interplay between the bass guitar and just the drums in general. All right, so that's all I had to say about Running Out of Time by Paramore. It's a great song, and it's probably my favorite song off the This Is Why album. Just want to let you know that if you want to learn how to transform your singing voice and how to write and record your own music, follow the link in the description below. It goes to my website, dougz.com. Go and check that out. Make sure to give this video a like, um, subscribe if you hadn't already, and leave me a comment below on what song you'd like me to do a breakdown of. All right, well, that's it for today's video. I'll see you in the next one, and thank you for watching. Bye.